Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first 2015 edition of Teammates in a Glove. Let's hear it, folks. We're back by popular demand. We are joined by one of the new Syracuse Chiefs this year. He's an outfielder. He's a former Milwaukee Brewer, San Diego Padre, Los Angeles Dodger, Philadelphia Philly, and Lehigh Valley Iron Pig. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Gwynn, Jr. How about it? Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm well. How about yourself? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Uh, do you know the rules of the game? No, explain them to me again. Okay. So the rules of teammates in the glove are very simple. You have a glove. In this glove are teammates, names of former coaches and uh, players of yours, former teammates of yours. You pick out a name. What do you remember about that person? You tell a story, an anecdote, something that jumps out at you. If you do not want to, you can put the name back in the glove, and nobody will ever know. So you have that condition of anonymity. Is that good? Any other questions? No, 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 no. You ready to play? Pick the first name. Who do we got? Right. Tony Gwynn Jr., first teammate in the glove. Who do we have? <laughs> Matt Stairs. Matt Stairs. The legendary Matt Stairs. When did you play with Matt? I played with Matt in 2010 in San Diego. Uh, now, we don't really have any stories. He, he was probably one of my favorite teammates. He uh, took a lot of time with me to work with me in my game, especially uh, on the offensive end. Uh, one of the best Canadians I've ever had the privilege of playing with. How many Canadians have you had the privilege of playing with? Uh, not that many. Probably two or three. Right. So he's one of the top two. Or <laughs> Absolutely. All right, Matt Stairs. That's a good start. That's a good start. Let's uh, let's shake the glove up. Oh, do we want to go with this one? This just fell out. Let's see. Let's see. Nah, it'd be boring. <laughs> one, one down. We're already making moves, making cuts. Nope. Nope. We're off to a rip-roaring start here. Who do we got here? Fun one right here. Jimmy Rollins. Jimmy Rollins. Okay. Yes. I had the privilege of getting to know Jimmy when I was about 18. Really? He, he used to come down to San Diego State and work with my dad. No kidding. And uh, I actually, actually the first time I met him was my dad's last All-Star game in 2000, uh, I think it was 2001. Mm -hmm in Seattle. He was Jimmy's rookie year. He had made the all-star team. And I was uh, pretty much infatuated with this guy because he was close to my age. And he was uh, he was doing it in the big leagues. He was an all-star. So he's always been one of my favorites, uh, favorite players and favorites to be around. And you got to play with him last year with the Phillies. Yes, I got to play with him. I see him break the Phillies all-time hit, yeah, hit record. Sure. So that was pretty special too. Very cool, very cool. All right, Jimmy Rollins, that's a good, uh, that's a good second pick. So, you know, Matt Stairs, Jimmy Rollins, number three, yes, no? No. No. Okay. No. He's played with a lot of, a lot of notable guys. <laughs> who, do we, who do we have here? Wow. Uh, Tony Gwynn. Tony Gwynn. Yeah. Didn't have the luxury of playing with him. <laughs> but, but he was my dad. So, uh, and he coached you in a final year in college? He did. He was my hitting coach my sophomore year and my head coach my junior year. Probably one of the best experiences I ever had. Yeah. It's the first time I got to spend year round with him. You know, usually come February he was gone playing the season. Got to see him a lot during the season, but never on an everyday basis like this. So this was my first experience getting to hang out with him on an everyday basis. Uh, he was a good coach. I, I, I enjoyed being around. He treated it much like, you know, he a manager would treat big league guys. So. It was good. It was it was awesome from that standpoint. Was he harder on on you being, you know, coach's son than some of the other guys, or how did that play out? I'm sure he wanted to be, but I kind of made it difficult for him to be yeah. hard on me. I, I I tried not to put him in a position right. where he had to be hard on me. So I, t I took it easy on him. I would say from that standpoint. That was kind of you, I think. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's do one or two more. These are these are good names. Good. First 2015 edition. The wind has taken a couple of the names away. Ian Stewart. Ian Stewart, who is your teammate now and was uh, previously. Yes, in Albuquerque. We played together, I think it was 2013. Okay. Uh, great teammate. Really really quiet guy. Uh, doesn't talk a whole lot, uh, but he seems to enjoy having a good time with his teammates. Uh, one of the better – one of, my, one of also one of my better teammates I've, I've had the privilege of playing with. Any uh, Anything different about Ian now than two years ago? That beard. The beard is <laughs> – 
much more monstrous than it was yeah. uh, in 2013. That's, that's, That's like James Harden level by there, by Stu. It was definitely James Harden level in spring training. He had been, was forced to shave it down a little bit before he got here, but uh, definitely one of the all-time beards I've ever played with. All right, one more? Are we going to do one more? What do you think? Yes? All right, one, one final name. <laughs> Studio audience loves this Studio game. Awesome. Studio audience is great. Yeah, they're, they're big here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Here's final one. one. Matt Kemp. Uh, played with him in Los Angeles from 2011 to 2013. Uh, a good a friend, a good friend of mine. He uh, is probably well known for dating Rihanna. Right. Uh, Was he dating Rihanna at the time that uh, I, you were the team? I got there a year late. I, okay. I, I missed out missed on. The I, I missed the Rihanna years. But uh, apparently, uh, you know, after they broke up, he. Dang near won an MVP, so I, I think uh, it was probably for the better in his right. in, in his case. But uh, good dude. Uh, at that time, Matt was a little younger. He, he definitely enjoyed being in Los Angeles. Sure. Uh, so, uh, but also a good guy, good teammate, and uh, he's out there in San Diego doing it right now. Tony Gwynn Jr. Great. Uh, this is a great way to kick off our uh, teammates in the glove uh, reunion tour 2015. It really uh, fun to have you here and. Uh, some awesome stories. Thanks for spending a few minutes with us. Oh, thanks for having me. Tony Gwynn Jr., how about it? Yeah, yeah. Teammates in the Glove 2015, our first edition.